Now we're going to look at thermostats and replacing them. Uh, what we have here is your uh, typical mechanical type mercury thermostat and we're going to look at replacing it and uh, you can save five to ten percent on your heating and cooling bills by replacing them. It's a simple matter. You start by making sure the power is off to your furnace or your air handler. It's a simple matter of removing the covers and some mounting screws, taking the thermostat off of its sub base. And then you want to mark the wires and their designations. The standards are you have a red going to R, a uh, white going to W, a yellow going to Y, and a green going to G. And uh, this is a way that you can test your thermostat too. If you think you're having problems, say you're having problems with your furnace or with your air conditioner, uh, what you can do is disconnect the wire uh, from for the heating, like disconnect the white wire from the W and the red wire from the R and tie them together. Turn the power back on and the furnace should start back up. Uh, same as with air conditioning. If you disconnect the yellow wire from the Y and the red wire from the R, tie them together, turn the power back on, the air conditioner should start up. And if it does, the thermostat itself is bad. Uh, to continue with the replacement, like I said, you mark the, the wires colors and which disconnect the wires and then you want to remove the sub base from the well, usually there's two or three uh, mounting screws. You just take them out. And then the sub base itself will come off the wall. Then once you have the old uh, sub base off, you can go ahead and put the new one on. In this case, we're putting on just a standard digital, non-programmable thermostat. And it's a matter of putting the on the wall and mounting it. Uh, most of your new thermostats come with some uh, anchors for drywall. In this case we're putting it on wood paneling so we don't need the anchors but uh, it's simply a matter of putting in mounting screws and You do want to check it for level. It won't affect the operation. It's just a, for a matter of looks on it, though. It won't matter. Put a small level on the top of it. Finish tightening up your screws. Then it's uh, time to connect the wires back to the terminals where you remove them. Then once you got the wires uh, all hooked up, there's a couple things you need to do. Uh, most of your digital thermostats have a switch to tell the, the thermostat whether you have an electric or an oil type furnace. You want to make sure it's set for the proper type furnace that you have. And then, uh, in this case, we're using battery. So we take the little spacer off. And we put the cover back on. And we're ready to test the system. Basically turn the power back on to the furnace or air handler and then run it through the cooling and heating modes make sure everything works properly. And that is the basics of how you replace a thermostat.